Hi, um, this is a user requested tutorial. It was requested by Zach Toad. Um, so I'm going to give a shout out to him for requesting it. Um, remember, anyone can request tutorials, just in the link in the description, there's an email. Just email your request for tutorials. Um, so we'll get started. Um, this tutorial is on abstract um, letters and words like this. Um, mainly these are for SIGs or just for sprays in games and stuff like that. Um, and so yeah, we'll get started. Um, we'll go open up Photoshop. And we'll make a new document. Doesn't matter what size. Um, I'm going to use 500 by 500. Because it's just a nice size to work with. So I'll say OK to that. Um, and open up my layers. As always, we'll unlock the background layer. Double click the background layer and OK. Um, so first off, we'll make the background black and make it change back to white and do some white text. Um, the font I'm going to use today is Bank Gothic. I will give you the link to download that in your description. And so yeah, so we'll just start typing whatever we want. It's in black right now, so I'll just change it to white. As you can see, it's very small, so bump up size to roughly about 100. So that's done. We'll make a new layer. And from here on, it's pretty similar to the um, other tutorial I did for the, the Abstract 2 background. And where we do the abstract brushes and change the color of them. So the new layer is for the brushes. So select the brush tool and find the brushes. The ones I'm going to use are the Roman 100K. Um, you can find this, you can find a link to download them in the description as well. And with them, just want to paint away the canvas with white. Pretty much just anywhere, just randomly, just paint away, doesn't matter where you do. Don't make it too overcrowded though. Otherwise it won't turn out as good. So when that's done, select go to the layers and select control click the image for the text and with that done you can see it has selected the text now we can press control shift I or we can go select inverse which is what does it inverses the selection so now you've selected everything but the letters uh, make sure you're on the layer 1 all these brushes around here and click delete Control D or select deselect, and we want to get rid of this layer. You can even do it if you want. As you can see, we have some abstract text now. And with that, we want to make a new layer. This is for our color layer. We want to go back into your brushes and make it reset the brushes and grab a nice soft 300 big brush like this uh, as you can see it's very, very soft with that done just want to go change the colors to very vibrant colors as in the last tutorials the ones I'm going to use for this tutorial as I do in all my other ones is blue, green and light green or a different color green so we'll grab blue and just paint the canvas away I'll grab a green Oops. Not a nice green at the end. Uh, you can make sure you can go over it, or it doesn't really matter. Over the thing. And we're just going to change the blending mode to color. As you can see, it's um, changed the color already. You can leave it as this, or we can go further with the abstract lines. So make a new layer and push it under under that color and put this back to white. So I'm going to go to the brushes and find the brushes. The ones I'm going to use are the abstract light and the abstract brushes. I'll give you the link to, to download these in the description as well. Um, and pretty much we're just going to find a good nice brush 
and we'll scale it down to fit to fit uh, what we're doing. And with this, you might want to put it there. You can make it smaller. You can rotate it if you want. Make sure it fits the media properly. And the letters, just like that. When you go through, you can do the, all the letters in similar ways. This can take a while, but it looks very nice afterwards. Um, now, because I want to change the how it looks, as I've already got brushes here, I'll make a new layer to make a brush so I can transform this now. Otherwise, if I just did if I just did the other layer, so I'll just go back. I can do it that. If I went like that and need transform, it would transform the whole thing. So pretty much every time I want to change the rotation of it, it's gonna make a new layer. Stick it in there somewhere. Press Ctrl T, transform, and change it how you want. So for this, it's gonna. Oops. Do it again. I want to do it similar to that. Just gonna go through and do all the letters. It can take a while, but once it's done, it looks pretty sweet. Sometimes brush can be a bit over overpowering over the thing. You can do it, make it smaller, make it less overpowering. So nearly done. So find one last one for the end. You don't have to fill all the letters up, but it just looks nice to fill them all up. So we'll just try this one out. We'll make a new layer because I want to change the position of it. It's a bit too big. That's about right. So. Let's do one off a bit here. Okay, so that looks good. So from here on, just want to grab the three layers, which are the abstract. This is the text, so all the abstract swirls and switches. So when grab them, press Control E, which emerges and emerges them together. Um, with that done, it's been area one layer for that, one layer for that. Now you want to add the added glow. People can like it like this, but I prefer to put the added glow around everything. Just want to go down to here, FX, and then we want to go to added glow, which is up here. Um, we'll change to normal. Make it white. And with some bulk up to about 2 to about 10, which roughly looks good. We can do the same, we can copy layer styles and paste layer styles. You can muck around the changes, I just prefer these changes as my default changes. And so there you go. Okay, with this done, um, we want to uh, just save it now, so we'll go file, save as. We'll go to JPEG, name it whatever you want. And when it put up to 12, if you're going to use it for signatures and stuff like that, you're going to put it to 12. If you're going over the net, you might want to drop it down a tiny bit. I said this before, it's just download size can take a while. Download time and size it can depend on which size you want. So we'll just leave it for 12 because for testing purposes. Um, with that done, we can open it up in design, where you saved it, which is my design work right now. And there you go. So yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, I will give many more user tutorials if you request them. And yeah, thank you. So comment and subscribe. Bye.